What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a, another Pilates workout with ball of angles. Today we're gonna to be using our ball of angles around the ankles. You can go ahead and get those on. And we are gonna go ahead and get started just with a couple of deep breaths. So I want you to find a comfortable seated position on your mat, whether that's cross-legged or legs out in front of you. Take your hands so they come right to the tops of your legs and we'll sit up nice and tall, reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. We'll take a nice big inhale, filling the belly and the chest up with air, maybe letting the shoulders float up towards the ears. And then we'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back, let it go. Good, we'll do that three more times. Nice big inhale. And we'll exhale, drop everything down and back, let it go. Good, big inhale. And we'll exhale, take things down and back, let it go. And this will be our last one, nice big inhale. And then we'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back, let it all go. Beautiful, okay. From right here, we are going to lay all the way down onto our mat. Your legs are gonna come up into a tabletop position. I'm gonna scooch back a little bit. Legs come up into a tabletop position. Your arms are gonna reach up above your shoulders, fingertips up towards the ceiling. From here, we'll just start off taking a dead bug. We're gonna take the right leg and right arm. You're gonna shoot out and then big exhale you'll pull back in same thing on the left shoot out pull in inhale out find length exhale in good let's do four more like this on each side four and four good we'll go three and three this is two and two, excuse my sniffles, I'm getting over a cold, last one. And last one, good. From right here, I want you to pull your right knee so it comes in towards your chest. Shoot the left leg out nice and long. We're gonna exhale, switch the legs. Inhale, then exhale, switch the legs. We'll keep the head down for right now. I'm not trying to torture you. <laughs> Right, that's nice of me. If you wanna come up into an upper body crunch, go ahead and go for it. Tuck your chin to your chest, draw belly button to spine. Totally cool with me. It's not the vibe I'm going for today, so you are gonna make that decision on your own if you so choose. Good, let's do four more each side. Four, four, we'll go three, three, last two, two, one, and one, take the knees so they come right back up above your hips, reach your arms so they come up above your shoulders. Big exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, draw the belly button in, push your hands outside of your hips, crunch on up, inhale, lower all the way back down. Good, keep going like that, exhale, crunch up, inhale, take it down. Now if you feel good here, you're gonna crunch up and shoot the legs out to straight, and then bend at your knees, lower right back down. Good, we'll go for three more. Three. This is two. And last one, crunch and hold. Start to pump your hands right outside of your hips. We go, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna make you do the full 100 because that's rude and I like you guys. I don't wanna make you do that right now. Maybe later. Good. We'll just be here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop your head down, hug your knees in, rock a little bit from side to side. Take a nice deep breath, and then from here we're going to rock and roll on up so that we come up into a tabletop position. Let me think. I want the right leg first. So we're going to um, come on up. Hands are going to come down onto your mat. Knees will go back. We'll set up so the shoulders come right over the wrists and the hips are right over the knees. Now from right here, we'll keep our left knee down on the mat. Right leg is going to shoot back behind you. And we'll just start off right here by exhaling to lift the leg up. We'll inhale, take it right back down. And I'm going to scooch forward just a little bit so I can make sure I stay in the frame. We'll lift and lower, lift and lower. Now that's all it is, that being said. It's not like the most simple or easy movement, especially if you're doing it correctly. I want both of your hips to stay squared off to the mat. So we're trying to push that right hip down. And that will force your core to engage just a little bit. 
which is good. That's what we want. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, last one. You're going to hold your right leg up, flex your foot. We'll exhale, bend the knee, pull the heel to the glute. Inhale, release, let it go. We'll do eight more. Eight. This is seven. Six. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one, you're going to shoot that right leg right back out. Open up the hip. Exhale, pull the knee to the elbow. Inhale, shoot right back out. Knee to elbow, shoot it out. Good. Let's do six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. You're going to shoot that right leg back, hold it there, come down onto your left forearm, right hand stays down. You open up that right hip. Now from here, you're going to lower and lift the right leg, lower and lift, lower and lift. Now I know I've done something like this before. It's, you know, it's Pilates. There's only so many things that we can do, right? I think we did this with a TheraBand probably last month. Let's just do four more, four. We'll go three, two, last one. Lift and hold. I want you to bend that right knee, tap your calf, big exhale, kick your leg out. Tap and kick tap, kick, tap, and kick. We'll do six more. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one. You're going to pull that right leg in, right knee comes down. You can press up off of your left forearm and then just reach the hips back towards the heels. Take a nice deep breath. Whoo. Beautiful. Okay, before we hit the other side, I want you to come all the way down to your mat. We'll lower ourselves down so that we're belly down on the mat. Hands are gonna come in front of you, elbows out nice and wide, and then walk your feet out so they're about mat's distance apart. You can hold your upper body up in a little bit of extension if that feels okay. We're just gonna take the right leg and we're gonna lift and lower. We'll do this six more times. Six, we'll go five. This is four. We have three, two, and last one. We're going to switch over to the left leg. We'll lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. You can drop your head all the way down to your hands if you need a little bit of support. Cool with me. We'll do six more. Six. We'll go five, four, three two, and last one. Good. We're going to lift both of the legs up. You can hold your upper body in that nice extension, just making sure the shoulders are out and away from the ears. Both legs are lifted. We'll just start to swimmer kick through the legs. Just kick, 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 kick. You'll keep your gaze down, but still slightly forward. So we can maintain some length at the back of the neck. So we're not craning our neck, trying to look up. You're going to look down but forward. You can also bring your forehead all the way down if that's a little bit more comfortable. And we'll just be here about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Go ahead and drop the legs down. From here, we press ourselves all the way up and back into a child's pose. Hips go back, arms go long. Nice deep breath, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. From here, we're going to pop back up into that tabletop position. I'm just going to flip around so you guys can see what's going on on the left leg. Hands come back down to the mat. Knees go back. We got shoulders over the wrists, hips right over the knees. If you hyperextend a little bit or you lock out your elbows like this, I want you to bend a little bit. Think about pressing up and away from your mat. Right knee stays down. Left leg shoots back. We're just going to exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Again, I'm going to scoop forward a little bit. I never know if I'm going to come out of the frame until we start to move. 
Now, just like with that first side, I want you to think about trying to push your left hip down to the mat instead of trying to open up and like get this huge range of motion. If that's what, if this is what you look like, we've gone too far. Okay. I don't want you to arch your back. I want you to stay engaged in your core. We'll do six more, six. We'll go five, four, three, two, Last one, lift and hold, flex your foot. We'll exhale, bend the knee, pull the heel to the glute. Inhale, release, let it go. Bend, release, we'll bend, release. We did a lot here, so let's do eight more. This is seven, we'll go six. This is five, four, three, two and one extend out through that left leg you're going to open your left hip up exhale pull the knee to the elbow inhale release let it go pull in press out we'll go six more six five four three two and last one, you're gonna shoot your left leg back, drop down onto that right forearm, keep your left hand down, open up your hip, like you're trying to stack your left hip on top of your right. We'll inhale, lower the left leg down, exhale, lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Very likely you will not be able to get your left foot all the way down to the mat, that's okay, that's not the goal here. <laughs> Definitely not the goal, it's just a change where we're feeling this work in the glute. Let's do four more, four, we'll go three, this is two, last one, lift and hold, we're going to bend that left knee in, so it comes right behind their right calf, and then big exhale, kick out, bend in, kick out. We're going to get a little bit more movement in the hips, but still make sure you're not arching in your back, and if you feel tension in your neck, you're just going to look down to that right forearm. We'll go for six more, this is six. <sighs> Five, good, four, three, two, last one. Good, we're gonna pull things in. I want you to drop down to both of your forearms, step your feet back so you find yourself in a forearm plank. All we'll do right here is take the right foot, step it out, pull it in. Left foot goes out and in, out and in. We'll go out and in, four more, four, this is three, good, <laughs> wait, I counted wrong, this is three and three, this is two, and two, we'll go last one, and one, and then bring both feet in, drop your knees down, press your hips back, reach those arms long, big deep breath, big inhale, and then exhale, let it go, beautiful, walk both of your hands over towards the right side of your mat, inhale, and then exhale, let it go, <sighs> beautiful. Both hands walk over to the left side of the mat. Nice big inhale. Exhale, let it go, <sighs> beautiful. When you're ready, walk your hands back to center and then press yourself all the way up into seated. You guys made it all the way to the end. Good work today. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to and I will see you guys in our next video. Yeah.